What's going on everyone? It's Fortbyte and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated gaming setup. So it's been like over two years since I did my last setup and I have a ton of new things so that's pretty much why I'm making this video. Before we get into it, be sure to drop a sub and this is pretty much what it looks like from my POV, you know, just playing um, controller, headset, keyboard, monitors, stream deck, microphone, PC, all that stuff, lighting, and we're going to go over all of that. Here we go. All right, so first thing, we got the white Steel Series Arctis 7 Plus Wireless. Now, I actually bought these refurbished and they're working pretty well. I really like them. The sound quality is amazing. And the best thing about it is that you can edit the sound quality in the app it comes with. You can really make them sound really good. For the microphone, I use the Blue Yeti with some mods on it. I'm using the Knox Gear shock mount attached to the Knox Gear uh, boom arm and I love this boom arm. This one's kind of like the springless one It looks sleeker and you don't have to worry about a spring breaking or getting loose um, It just stays, you know, you can adjust the tension here. Oh, yeah, and these LED lights. These are from um, it's, it's just a strip from floating grip I got those from a promotion. But yes, I highly recommend this boom arm I did a lot of research and I'm really happy with this. I've had it for a couple months now moving on um, to my mouse I'm not a mouse and keyboard player I play on controller so it doesn't really matter what mouse I get it just has to look cool so this is the Bengu gaming mouse for like 16 bucks and honestly I I like it it's like it's working still that's all I really cared about I had an extra gift card with 16 bucks on it decided to get this if you play games with mouse and keyboard don't get this get a nice mouse uh, but, um, I mean, it gets the job done. We do have the controller here, um, the Fusion Pro Controller Xbox Edition Enhanced. I love this thing. It's a budget Xbox Elite controller. Um, this one's like 80 bucks. It's, it's awesome. You can put paddles on the back. I don't use paddles just because I haven't taken the time to get used to them. Might, I might in the future though. And then we have these trigger locks here, all the way down, short. I love using it for short so you don't have to press it all the way down. You can adjust the height of your joystick. I have the taller one for aim, the regular stock one here. Just overall, a solid controller. All right, I am talking for too long, but let's move on quickly to the MSI keyboard I have. This, I, don't, I honestly got the model of this keyboard. Uh, I'll put it in the description, but you know, just like the mouse, it's good. It's good enough for doing the things I do on here. I'm not a mouse and keyboard player, so don't, you can listen to me on everything in this video, but the keyboard and mouse, you know, just doesn't, just does not matter at all. Uh, the Stream Deck, I love this thing. It makes my streaming experience 10 times easier. All I have to do is if I want to run an ad or something and just click that. I don't stream on Twitch anymore though, so that's stupid. Um, but I could switch to gameplay starting soon, intermission, all of that with a click of a button. I can play sound effects. I'm not live right now, so they're not showing up, but I can edit videos with this thing. Cut, next frame, next frame. Awesome. Amazing device there. For the monitors, um, the, 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 okay, so this one, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, it's just like a, it's a Samsung TV screen, but it, I like how big it is. It's like 37 inches, 34 inches or something like that. I don't suggest you buy one of these. I suggest you buy a proper monitor, but if all you can find in your house is like a small TV like this, it works really good and um it's only 60 hertz which kind of sucks for my 3080 but i'll talk about that later i've just adapted myself to look at such a big screen and when i do get a monitor in the future i'm going to get a screen around this size um for my second monitor i have some random dell monitor <laughs> that i found in my basement from like 2000 whatever early 2000s and it's a little bit clunky creaky you know it's heavy it uses i have to use an hdmi to that old connector thing don't go buy one of those but hey if you have one sitting around in your basement it's a good use of as your second monitor all i need it for is just reading chat or if i'm doing school work or something i could just look over at this monitor um it's not like i'm going to be gaming on it so i mean all right webcam we have the it's not any popular camera 2k pixels autofocus camera everything in my setup is either really good or really bad this camera though is not really bad it's actually a good camera it 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 displays well when I stream and stuff. I suggest you get a Logitech though. It's a, it's a good webcam though. I'll try and link it in the description. All right, let's move a little bit back because I feel like I'm getting too close and you guys can't see anything. Uh, lights, um, three, two, one. Ah, that probably 
Sorry if it's midnight and you just saw that while trying to fall asleep. You two want, oh, okay, I need to stop doing that. The point is, these are really bright lights and that shows up well on my Elgato green screen. See how bad that is until you put two of these lights on. Uh, looks crazy. Um, but yes, oh, we got the light panels over there too. Makes this, makes the setup room complete. This green screen though, yes, this is what I have my background behind. The Elgato green screen, I'll link it in the description. And then we have this random office chair. Don't go buying this thing. This thing Things really old like I don't know I didn't do that it was like I've had it for a while though. solid chair though I mean okay it's, that's enough solid chair um it's a little too bright in here now oh and um ring light moving down here we have the flight simulator joystick that I use because uh yeah I do play flight simulator not just Fortnite internet we got the Eero it sits down here I still need to get a separate table to put my PC on because my desk is Really old, I'm definitely gonna be getting a new one, a wider one. Um, Ethernet though, makes my internet and my ping really good. All right, it's time for the part you guys are probably skipping to. <laughs> um, I'll turn this monitor off so you guys can see this better, the glare. Okay, the PC, we have the Leon Li Dynamic XL. I just bought this case this past um, December because I got a new GPU. Um, I needed a bigger case. It's, it's really clean. We'll get even further back. I love the case. Uh, we have the, give me a second, give me a second. Asus Rog Strix Z390F gaming motherboard. We got the Intel i7-9700K, solid CPU. And then the interesting part, you guys are like, why do you have two graphics cards? Um, I have the GeForce TTX 1650 Super and the GeForce RTX 3080 Gaming Z Trio. MSI. I, also, I got the 3080 in December. I mean, it's serious. Dual GPUs. This one's for me playing games, and then this one's for me streaming. Um, that way I could just have all the performance I want while playing games while streaming on that. I might just go single 3080 because my computer's kind of not really going... It's not really using the whole 3080 as much as it should be. Here we got the Corsair cooler. Looks just like this. Uh, two fans, radiator, AIO. We're not gonna talk about the screw right here. I don't know what happened there. I've had to take this cooler off so many times. We've got a lot of fans. We, we've got the uh, Corsair fans here. Uh, we got three down here. And then we have two stock ones that came with the case. They didn't come with this case. They came with my old case. Just imagine how much heat is gonna get right there. Right, like, right there between the GPUs. So I had to put all three down here, two on the side there, and actually it works really well. They don't get hot. Overboard, but 48 gigabytes um, of ballistics RAM. And I will be getting an M2 SSD soon. I need to put one in because my other one's getting full. Power supply of the MSI 850 watt gold um, down there. It's, it's really hard to access this on this case. You have to like open up the back, but it, it, it's doing the job. It's powering both GPUs really well. Um, there's the PC build. Okay, I think I think I covered everything here. If you guys have questions, drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this. Thanks for watching everybody and subscribe if you're new. Drop a like on the video and I'll see you guys next time.